hope you're having a great day and welcome back to another Citrix lab setup series and this is going to be part 3 and we are going to create a new server called the CTX core and we are going to add it to our newly created domain which is trend.local. Let's get started. So in order to save some time I have already created the server and as I have mentioned in the introduction video I have given 8 gigs of RAM and 4 vCPUs and I can show it here so 8 gigs of ram and 4 cpus and connected to a drand lab virtual switch so uh, let me log into the server ctx core and let's go to system.cpl and, uh, and the reason why we are going to here at first is to change the computer name because it will be always a random number and we have to change it first so i'm going to click on change and let's give it ctx core okay and uh, we have to restart the computer okay and close but we are not going to restart it right away so i'll just keep it aside and the next thing uh, we are going to do is giving ctx core a static ip address so let's go back to dc and when we look at the uh, network property in uh, server tc let me just open it properties and ipv4 oops so we have given 192.168.10.11 as an ip address for our domain controller and subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and default gateway same but ends with 1 and dns server same as dc so uh, we are going to give 192.168.10.12 for ctx core let's go back to ctx core go to oh, ncpa.cpl click on ok and properties and let's uncheck ipv6 we don't need to use that and by default it will be obtained an ip address automatically so you would use this following ip address that's going to be 192.168.10.12 and default gateway is 192.168.10.1 and DNS server is the same IP address that we have for the DC so it has both the roles 192.168.10.11 and click on OK OK and close Let's restart its server. Okay, it is rebooted. Let's log in now. Okay, it is rebooted. Let's check if our name got changed. Okay, CTX score, it's changed now and let's see if we are able to contact dc okay that is good we can so now let's try to add it to our domain so uh, in the system properties in the computer tab uh, computer name tab click on change and select domain 
and enter a newly created domain which is trend.local and click OK. And uh, if you have noticed, we have created a few users. So I created uh, a user named Alpha and I have given a domain admin rights. Let's try to use that credential to uh, connect to our DC. Okay, welcome to the trend.local domain. And okay, and it will require another reboot. Yes, okay. And click on close. Yes, we can restart the server now. Okay, server is rebooted and uh, it is joined a domain successfully as you can see uh, sign into tran so now we can log in with the uh, domain user so I'm going with alpha so we will be using this alpha credential for all the activities that we are going to perform in future Okay guys, now we have logged in. So let's verify our FQDN is properly in place. So go to system.cpl and there we go. As we can see, ctxcode.tran.local. So we are good now. And we are done for this video. And uh, just a recap, in our previous video, we have created a new VM and installed ADDS role and then promoted to a domain controller. And in this video, we have created a new server called the CTX code and we added it to a newly created domain, which is trend.local. And in the next video, we are going to download and install SQL Express on a CTX code and we will be granting record permissions for our site DP creation. And that's all guys. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day and stay tuned. And if you have liked this video, click like and do subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye bye.